From the director of Gone Boy 1 and Gone Boy 2 comes the motion picture event of the century. Gone Boy 3. Boy, I'm glad he's gone. Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel and today we are checking out Gone Girl, another David Fincher movie. If you haven't checked it out on the channel, I watched Zodiac, reacted to it. Amazing, amazing movie. Had me on the edge of my seat the entire time. And so I'm really excited to watch Gone Girl because it's another David Fincher movie, as I just said, and I really love David Fincher as a director. I've seen Seven before, not on the channel, on my own time. I've seen The Social Network again on my own time. I saw Panic Room as a Patreon exclusive live stream, and I'm really excited to be getting into Gone Girl. I'm hoping for some amazing directing, amazing acting, and an interesting story. I don't know what the story is about. I'm assuming a girl goes missing because Gone Girl, like the girl has to be gone in some way. So I'm assuming there's like a kidnapping or something like that, but I'm not 100% sure. It could be like someone just vanished vanishes, you know, in, into thin air. So I don't know what's going to happen in this movie, but I'm really excited to find out. And before we get into this reaction, let me do the lighting. So when we turn on, we said, what color? It should be boop. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so the lighting today, I am going to go blue because Gone Girl's poster is very blue and I think Ben Affleck in the poster is also wearing blue. So I think blue will be a good choice today. And if you'd like to check out more of my reactions, you can head over to my Patreon. I have uncut and early access reactions to my movies and TV shows that come out up to three weeks early as well as exclusive live streams, Patreon polls, movie polls, and so much more. Thank you so much if you check it out. Let's get back to the video. Okay, let's get into this movie. So I hope you enjoy my reaction to Gone Girl girl. When I think of my wife, Jesus Christ, Ben Affleck scared me there. Lovely skull, unspooling her brains, trying to get answers. Oh my god, that started weirdly for a second. How are you feeling? What have we done to each other? So I think that's Rosamund Pike and Ben Affleck. Yeah, there we go. I, <laughs> I guessed her name. Oh, I like Trent Reznor, actually, for music. I really like Trent Reznor. And it is based on a book, and Ben Affleck is really buff for some reason. Prince graces us with his presence. His majesty prefers not to be moistened. <laughs> I too prefer not to be moistened. In the morning, a bourbon in the morning. Kind of interesting. Looks great. I'm just having a bad day. Amy? It's our anniversary. Five years. Five? That came fast. Why is that a bad day, huh? I'm so crazy, stupid, happy. I met a boy. Oh, she met a boy. A, I'm an award winning scrim shander. B, I'm a moderately influential warlord. Hmm. Okay. C, I write personality quizzes for magazines. I'll take B. Ha ha. No, I mean it. It's hard to believe you. Why? I think it's your chin. I think it's your chin? Oh my god. Dude, she destroyed him right there. 100% true. No bullshit. That's very beautiful. What the heck? I have to kiss you now. It's the rules. Hmm. Oh, wait a sec. I bet it'd be a sweet kiss too. Bro, their romance is already so much better than like 90% of movie romances. You know what I mean? Like it's so believable already. It's designed to prove an oblivious and uncaring asshole her husband is. Wow. What happened to things? Like the dying rose bush in the backyard. Ugh, that's symbolic. Yeah. What's the gift for five? Wood. Wood? He's out, slap her with your penis. There's some wood for you, bitch. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hey, buddy. What are you doing out here? Oh, it's a little cat. Oh, no. Oh, God, she's gonna be gone, girl. Hey. Do you think she just left, or do you think she got kidnapped? That's the next question. Oh, that's not good. Sadie? Yeah, I was a writer. 
We're both writers. Why'd y'all move back here? My mom got sick. Makes sense, makes sense. She's dead. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Little awkward there. <laughs> My office here. Oh, interesting. The iron is still on. It's a guest bedroom there. Cat's room on the end. I checked up here. Why didn't you turn the iron off then? What is it? Oh, there's blood. Wow. Impressive gal. Yeah, honestly. Her wife is amazing, Amy. Yeah, she is. Wow. That's so cool. I don't even know Amazing Amy, it's probably not a real thing, but that is so cool. Imagine if you met like Captain Underpants or something. Do you guys know Captain Underpants? You play volleyball? I got caught freshman year. She made varsity. Oh, she's doing all the things that Amy, actual Amy didn't get to do. Your parents literally plagiarized your childhood. No, they improved upon it and then peddled it to the masses. Yeah, I thought you were gonna made money off of it. I love having strangers pick up my scabs. I'm curious whether- That's a good line, actually. Amy has always been one step ahead of me. Excuse me. I'm sorry, I just- A few questions. People comparing her to her book all the time. Or books, I should say. We knew a- An understandable mistake. He also thought it was a fish. He thinks Velveeta is a cheese. Sounds like a cheese. You surprised me. And... Fun fact for the readers. You have a world-class vagina. <laughs> oh my god. I'm not. Isn't it time we fix that? Oh, that was so smooth. Quick, but given the scene at your house and given our spike in violent crime of late, we are going to take this very, very seriously. Okay, okay, that's good. Yeah, I want to get the word out, right? Yeah. All of a sudden, I feel like I'm in a Law and Order episode. Yeah, everything happens so fast. Pretty sure that's not it. Sammy got friends we can talk to? Um, no, not really. Oh, really? Ivy League rubs people the wrong way. She's from New York. She's complicated. She's, She's complicated. You don't know if she has friends. You don't know what she does all day. And you don't know your wife's blood type. Sure y'all are married. I, I don't know if I would know. If I was married, would I? should I know my wife's blood type? I'm not married. but. <laughs> should I know my wife's blood type? That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Go home. Yes, ma'am. I don't know why I have to be here. Yes, ma'am. I, I don't want to be here. I want to go home. Yes, ma'am. Dad? Oh, what? I'm sitting 20 feet away from you with two other Sir, police officers. Sir, please don't take that tone with me. Stupid, dumb, ugly bitch. Yes, stop. Oh, my God. I'll get your fucking hands off. Thanks. Wow, a really bad relationship with his dad, it looks like. And good relationship with his mom, maybe. At least his wife had a good relationship with his mom, but a bad relationship with his dad, for sure. Jay. With us, two years, <laughs> it's just good. It's just good. Oh my days. You really just hope no one needs a book from this aisle, don't you? Ordinary. So these are the 2,000 thread. There's no way. There is no way. Stuff about Amy? You know, they asked, like, why didn't she have any friends? What'd you say? Said she was complicated. Nick! You can't just say that. It's so bizarre. It just, it seems like the kind of thing that would happen to Amy. She always attracts these. Drama? She attracts drama. Anyway, whoever took her is bound to bring her back. So even the sister doesn't have a great rapport with Amy. That's really interesting. What's that? House is rented in her name. Cars in her name. Credit cards, utilities. Everything is in her name. It's with her uh, unmentionables. Why do you have to say it like that? Unmentionables? Just say underwear, right? We have our first clue. There's actually a dude. Is this like a scavenger? What is happening? I think it'd be so scary to talk at a press conference like this. If anyone out there uh, has any information, please come forward. And Elliot, 
my wife, sure. Mary Beth, Elliot, Amy is our only- What else was he supposed to say? A hotline, 1-855-4-AMY-TIPS. And our website is- That's actually a pretty cool hotline name. Why would he smile? Why would he smile? Thanks. Yeah, I know all about Desi Collins. He was obsessed. He attempted suicide after Amy broke up with him sophomore year. It's Neil Patrick! Oh, he's coming back because his name was in the credits. Imagine our confusion. Missing person's case and in your wife's dressing room we find an envelope marked Clue. That's, That's so interesting. It's a cozy room for my favorite writer. I know this one. Oh. He is so happy. He was so happy. After school meeting, don't mind if I do. Maybe I'll teach you a thing or two. Oh, there is Clue too. Do you think these are going to lead to her disappearance? Do you think she meant it to happen? Over to the little brown house. We'll play hot doting husband. Sweet loving spouse. Oh, wow. That is a little brown house. That's annoying. Oh, that's so annoying. There's so much happening. So this is his father's house. Hello, stranger. Fancy meeting you here. It's your dad's house, right? Are you following me? Yeah, a little bit. It looks okay. We'll walk you out. What about clue three, though? Why is he trying to cover this up? Like, as an audience member, we haven't seen Nick do anything. He was away when Amy disappeared, right? But he's acting suspiciously weird at times. What would be next? We have each other. Everything else is background noise. That's very romantic. That's terrible. And they need to borrow from my trust fund. How much? Almost a million. Almost a million? You know what you're right. Everything else is just background noise. And he doesn't lie. But you do need money to live, so money is important a little bit. <laughs> a little bit important. What's the laptop for? Laptoping. I just don't know how to do this. I've never known how to job. I flip burgers, I painted houses, I don't... You'll get another job. And suddenly... Slow down, what is it? I knew everything was about to get worse. What, why? I love how we're getting Amy's perspective through these, like, narration moments, and then we're getting Ben Affleck through, you know, Ben Affleck moments. But we're getting Amy's perspective from the past, pretty much, and then Ben Affleck's perspective from the present for the most part, which is really cool, actually, and I bet they're gonna merge together in the middle somewhere. Did you see that guy in the glasses before? That's Neil Patrick Harris. And have triplets? Oh. Yeah. We might say hi to them on the street, but best friend? No. Oh my god, that's Neil, man. Follow him. Follow him. Who's this woman? Famous chicken Frito pie. That's oh, very kind and very necessary. You have to keep your strength. Would you? Why is she doing that? Ah, it's a nice photo. I know it is, but it just do me a favor. Will you? Would you go ahead and please delete that picture? Oh, he's got, he's gonna get angry. What is wrong with you? Could you please not share that? Oh God. Oh, that was a weird interaction. Oh, uh, I saw some in the pantry. Oh my god, let her in, man. I knew the grin was gonna be bad. Awesome. Hey, have you told me everything? Of course. Everything? No. Like I'm 12. Mom would fix it. Moms fix everything a lot of the times. I am a Missourian. 
And I love that we're getting Amy's dialogue and stuff, her narration through her journals and diaries. That's so cool. Moved to Missouri. I don't mind. I, I just wish he'd ask. He didn't ask. She didn't ask about the trust fund and he didn't ask about Missouri. Nick is happy to be home. But I don't know if he's happy I'm with him. That is interesting. I feel like I could disappear. And the way that the dialogue is said, I don't know if it's just my headphones, but it feels like she's whispering into my ear. You know what I mean? Like I can feel her breath on my ear. Oh my God. She just vanished. She's just gone. I've been so worried about Where you. Where have you been? I called you a hundred times. Who is this? Is he having an affair? I needed to see you. I know this is bad idea. You can at least tell me you love me. I do love you. Oh my God, he's having an affair. Come here. If someone finds out about this, he's actually dead. You buy my presents in cash. I'm not stupid, Nick. I know, sweetie. Did you leave a pair of red panties in my office? No, maybe. The receipts, the receipts, the, the 65 inch TV and stuff like that. Golf clubs, maybe. I need you to take this seriously, okay? This is the last time we're gonna see each other. The laptop even for her, potentially. Stone, and I used the last of my trust fund to buy him a bar. So far, it's just costing money. Really, wow. <sighs> Nick uses me for sex when he wants. But it's not intimate anymore. Hey, I've been thinking. Yeah? Something positive. She's really trying hard. Child is not a hobby. Not a hobby. An inspiration. You could have wow. You really want to be the couple that has a baby to save their marriage? Save? Oh my god. I won't. You won't? You won't? But it's not good enough for you? It's not even close! Oh! Oh my god! What scared me was that I'd finally realized I am frightened of my own husband. Yeah. Oh my days. He does have anger issues. We've seen that at the start of the movie. What's so dedicated? You long and do it. Yeah. What? What she want? Weed? Pills? She wanted a gun. A gun? It's not my thing. Oh, probably to protect herself. For Valentine's Day, I thought I'd buy a gun. That is how crazy I've become. Okay, where's this journal? This is good evidence. Can I really think Nick would hurt me? I'm being paranoid. Crazy. Oh my god. I'd sleep better with a gun. These shots are really terrifying. Hey. Oh god. I must be able to talk every day. Okay, we will. Every day, Nick. Don't open the door. Look outside first. Thought, I don't know, someone was gonna be outside. You fucking idiot. I knew this sister knew. You're a liar and a cheat. You're just like dad. How did you even meet her? She's one of my students. What if your students? I'm petrified. We're having a vigil tonight for your missing wife, and this morning you're kissing your college girlfriend goodbye. Yeah, yeah, it's not good. You know, most Some men fucking tragedy. Who the thing. fuck is that? I don't know. She was trying to give me a casserole. On the show today, we have defense attorney. Ah, oh my God. This photo is remotely in the realm of acceptable I'm behavior. So sick of being picked no, apart by women. Big deal about a snapshot. Oh, that's an important line right there. Sick of being picked apart by women. Mm, I could go for some ice cream right now. I feel like this cat knows what's up. If this cat could talk, this cat saw exactly what happened. Dude, don't talk to me that way ever. She was trying to buy a gun. We don't know who or what was scaring her, Gil. Give me the update. Yeah. No drug angles. <laughs> he just wants to frame him. He hates this guy. He hates Nick. My wife says he's a killer. Well, if Tiffany says. I don't think he killed her. I don't think she could be dead, but I don't think he killed her or did anything to her. But I think he was a leading cause in something that happened to her, if that makes any sense. I'm cooperating with the police. I haven't hired a lawyer. I have nothing to hide. Amy. Nothing to hide? What did you she's do last brilliant. night, Nick? She's charming. Why? He's lying right now. I bet there's a part of him that hopes she doesn't come back. You know what I mean? They should do a circus. Where's your wife, Nick? Let the police do Oh my god. Job. What did you do to your pregnant wife? Pregnant? Hold on. That's a development. Mamie was six weeks pregnant. 
I bet he I bet he didn't even know. Where you going? Stop him. No questions right now. Thank you. I did he know? I don't think he did. I told you, Noah Hawthorne's fucking crazy. She doesn't even know Amy. They look like pretty good friends to me. Oh my god, interesting. Do you think she'd go visit while Nick was at the bar? And yet they remained upright throughout this life and death struggle. I don't know. What do you want me to say? You do any housekeeping the day your wife went missing? What if she tried to frame it? Lit up. Amy lost a lot of blood in there, Nick. A lot. Oh my god. And then it was cleaned up? Age of crime scene. No blood and no body. Suggest kidnapping. Not murder. Oh, money. Lack thereof. Me and my ex, the same. I mentioned that because we have got to look at your finances, Nick. Oh god. I didn't buy any of this stuff. I don't even golf. I do. You bought great clubs. I like the robot dog. This is identity. The robot dog. I did. That was her idea. She wanted me to. You filed the paperwork. Because she told me to. Whoa. Hold on. Yeah. God, this is not looking good for Nick. I swear this is not looking good for Nick. I don't think he did anything to her, but he does have a part to play in this. My question becomes... I don't want to talk to you again. Ever. Without a lawyer. Okay. There we go. Get Tyler Perry. You want to know the truth? The truth is, Amy didn't want kids. No, that's a lie. So, I gave it to Amy. The next day, I saw it in the trash. Really? A year ago, Amy being pregnant would have been the best thing ever! So weird, he's cheating on her, but having a baby with her would be the best thing ever. But you need to tell me. Tell you what? What are you asking? Did you kill her? Did you kidnap her? What? What is it? Oh my god, look at- yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. I need to be punished. And by punished, I mean had. This is so interesting. It's where you keep goodies. The music is so overwhelming. And look alive. David Fincher is really good at directing basement scenes. Zodiac basement scene, incredible. This basement scene, incredible. Oh my god, it's a journal. It's the journal. Father of my child. This man of mine may kill me. May kill me. Oh wow. That's the TV! These are all the things that she bought him. I am so much happier now that I'm dead. Hold on a second. The morning off! Let's go! And my lazy, lying, cheating, oblivious husband. She knows that he's cheating. Done took my pride and my dignity and my hope. So she's framing him and she likes Kit Kats. I love Kit Kats, so good for her. Fake a convincing murder. No way. To have discipline. No way. This is what she was reading a lot. Purchase getaway car. Craigslist. Generic. Cheap. Pay cash. No way. To spread your legs. You know what's hard? Faking a pregnancy. Wait, what? Voila. A pregnancy is now part of your legal medical record. No way. Happy anniversary. This is so calculated. Off he goes. And the clock is ticking. There we go, she framed. Just enough mistakes to raise the specter of doubt. Wow, that's so cool, is it not? And leave a little something behind. Oh! A fire in July. It's in the fireplace. To be likable. After that, you invent. The spending, the abuse, the fee- Hold on! Come out. Make sure the cops will find it. Hold on a second! And if I get everything right, the world will hate Nick. Two hours gone. Load it down past all the other abused, unwanted, inconvenient women. What the heck? If he likes girls gone wild, she's a mall babe who talks football and endures buffalo. This montage is incredible. I inspired him to rise to my level. 
I forged the man of my dreams. That's a cool line. Oh my god, I'm actually- I got chills so hardcore everywhere. This is epic. No fucking way. He doesn't get to win. Oh, wow, man. Oh my days. That was both unexpected and expected, but so satisfying. Grown-ups pay. Oh, what are you doing? Grown-ups suffer consequences. What are you doing? Oh! Is that... I can't believe how much effort the credit cards? Amy put into this. I don't know. Let's find out. What is the present? Unseen. Don't believe that for a second. I know where you've been, and I know where oh. you're going. That's creepy. She'd have no alibi. She stage managed me. She knew exactly what I would do, and I fucking did it. I went. She's smart, man. Part of me was relieved. I thought she was gone. See, I knew some of him was going to be relieved. Okay, we already knew that, Amy. What's your point? Does Missouri have the death penalty? I don't know. Does it? Wow. She has three days set for a suicide. Why did we see that scratch? That has to be interesting. <laughs> it's all going to plan and three days gone. To surprise him. And out he comes with this girl who had no business being in a ball. Oh no. And it was in the air everywhere. A sugar storm. And now it's snow. And, and white. Yes. Oh, Nick, why would you suck? It's like I'm on neither yes, character's what? side because they're both doing bad things. So far, I feel like Fincher has expertly but very subtly directed this movie. You know what I mean? There's been no crazy camera movements or anything like in Panic Room, for instance. But it's been so engaging from start to finish. Well, right now, it's a he said, she said. She's telling a better story. No, Nick. She is telling the perfect story. Yeah, honestly. Sweetheart and see her for what she is, which is a mind fucker of the first degree. Now, that is a huge realignment. We'll need... Yeah, because she's amazing Amy. Thanks for seeing me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you're gonna want a drink. Oh, wow, okay. The last eight years because I have to write sexual offender on every job application. I'm on a neighborhood watch list because I have to register as a predator. Oh my god. So I thought. Then one night, Amy comes over to my place with a bottle of bourbon and a bootleg of this band I love. Okay. Sensual. It was rough, but she was screaming for it. Next morning, there's two cops at my door. Oh, wow. It looks like I tied Amy to my bed and raped her. Oh, wow. The ties you wouldn't wear. You do know your wife. Did you ever see her again? So she yeah. set him up. On TV last week. Apparently, according to him. Well, thank you, Ellen. And let me just say this. Amy would have loved you. And uh, she does love you. Education and well, rich girl, married a cheating asshole, paid the ultimate price. He never introduced. Wait a second, what are you doing? Now, what do you think? Wow. Okay, Amy. <laughs> wow. I'm not saying it's okay he killed her. I'm just saying there are consequences. There are consequences to drinking that sprite. You're a good friend, Noel, and you're a good friend of the show. Thanks for coming on. Please tell me you landed so Tanner Bowl. The thing that she did to her past boyfriends is true. Then she. Wow! Wow, she's a mastermind, I have to say. You know, twin siblings often enable and abet. While I never examined Nick or his sister. Wow, the media is so against them. Disturbingly close, Lauren. Disturbingly close? What is, what is she implying here? This is the news. <laughs> Not forget. And you know what else we won't forget? Missouri has the death penalty. I'm it does have the death penalty. I'd like to report some strange activity near the woodshed on the property of one Margot Dunn. Oh my god. Her plan. <laughs> I can't lie. 
like half of me is rooting for her because her plan is just so well thought out you know what i mean and it's so entertaining to watch but i feel so bad for nick honest your wife is missing and you came all this way to tell me this well i thought there might be another side to this story. yeah mr collins did he leave did that actually happened did he actually do that Maybe Mr. Collings is the root cause of it all. Or maybe Amy is just crazy. There's no one there. Well, why didn't he make sure it actually burned? Because <sighs> he tripped the alarm. You were up his ass with a flashlight. Yeah, she's asking a good question here. I've never found that to be true. Good night. Night. Dude, I like this detective. She's not jumping to conclusions. She's asking questions. Why wasn't the diary burned if it's so crucial to the investigation? Dad wasn't coming around. He used to pretend that he was a spy named Mr. Brown. For the sake of his children's safety, I had to deny their existence. You never... Oh, wow. What in God's name is at your father's house, Nick? And be honest. I honestly have no idea. It was the diary. We need to tell the cops about Andy. Oh, really? Right now, Andy just gives you another motive. Interesting. I said, are really good. I'll put them on it. But where do they start, Nick? Where would Amy go? Yeah, where would she run to? Why did she run to these cabins? We three are the saddest sex in all the Ozarks. I'm not sad. Yeah, she's actually so happy at the moment. I'm not the asshole. Please put that on a t-shirt. That was a good shot. Don't they tease people down in NOLA? Oh. Oh. God, I am so stressed right now. That was very reminiscent. Remember when Ben Affleck went outside of his, it was like his dad's house or something like that, and he looked around and there was no one there, and then he went back inside? Very reminiscent of that scene. Why don't we just put on a statement? They need to see you. Sharon specials, they get 10 million viewers. She is- Wow. As if you're doing a deposition, what to say, what not to say. A trained monkey? A trained monkey who doesn't get lethal injection. Oh, oh, oh my God, Tedder, that was good. Maybe I only need to reach one. Yeah, that's very true. Oh God. They're looking for the money. You did a real good job. Where is the money, sweetheart? Oh God, where is it though? Where did you put it? And I don't really care. But you ain't gonna call the cops. I don't think you've ever really been hit before. No! Oh my God. Next place, be more careful, okay? There are a lot of people out there, a lot worse than we are. You know what? That is valid. That's very fair. But now she has no money. Her plan's kind of gone awry a little bit. I also love whenever there's audio like this, so overwhelming. There are so many different sounds going on and the pulsing music as well is so good. Dying of cancer, I'm my dad. What? Your dad scorched earth. Let's talk about your mom, how close you were. I like the gummy bear thing. That works. Don't be afraid to play up the doofus husband thing, Nick. I was an idiot. I'm a fuck up. Everything I do is wrong. I know what men are supposed to do in general. Oh, good catch. Like I love my wife. Wow. Wow. I love how they're both putting up fronts in different ways, you know? She's gonna try and gamble her way back to more money. That's interesting. Oh my god, it's Neil. I threatened to leave, and he said he'd find me and he'd kill me. Oh, she's lying to him too. She's lying to Neil. You saved him. Knowing you were out there was the only thing that's kept me going these past few years. Oh, what a liar! No why? Excuse me. I know you don't. Have to. No. You're one of the Nolan girls, right? Yeah, sure. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nick Dunn would have killed for me. My prayers go out to everyone who loves Amy. I this is not good. He was going to reveal this in the interview. Now he has to backtrack. Oh, 
How is he gonna get through this interview alive? Shouldn't smile with a makeup artist. Yeah, no kidding. They all think he's guilty now. Seriously, I can't believe how fucking good you are. Amy brings up. Hmm, hmm. Well, therein lies the problem. Ride this out, and when Sharon airs tomorrow, we'll be looking at a whole new you. Really? The interview went that well. I want to see the interview, I swear. I'm actually really nervous for Neil Patrick Harris's character because Secluded Lake House, Amy really needs everything. She needs a hideout. I don't know. Get some clothes, too. Not that I don't appreciate bait shop chic. Floors are heated, just dial to your liking. Oh, that's cool, man. <laughs> this guy is so wealthy. I'm so exhausted. Oh, I'll, uh, I'll leave you to it then. She's gonna ask him to stay. It's the entryway. Anyone who is caught coming or going will be recorded. Oh, wow. I thought she was gonna ask him to stay. I don't know. I, I'm really nervous for him. Incense. Why does he keep kissing her? I get that he's probably still in love with her, but it's a little weird. Good evening. Oh, I'm excited. Are we going to actually see the interview now? How about that you allowed Amy's parents, her friends, all the people in your hometown believe that you were loving? <laughs> I am loving this movie so much. Because I'm not a murderer doesn't make me a good guy. I'm not a good guy. I was a bad Oh my god, she didn't expect him to play this card. I was completely transfixed. Amy can do that to you. I was this average guy from that. Neil can relate. She does. But I failed her. Instead of doing what was right. These cuts are so interesting. Look in the lens and talk to your wife. If she is out there, able to hear and see you tonight. Oh, she's watching, all right. Eating a creme bu brulee. Come back. I promise I will spend every day making it. I will be the man that I promised you I would be. Oh my god, he's doing the chin thing. He did the chin thing at the end. Yeah. That was so subtle, but so awesome. I love you. <laughs> I'm Sharon Sharon. Good night. The detective, are they, is he under arrest? But a neighbor was concerned about a strange man around your woodshed. Oh my god. This was flipping Amy's call from earlier. I forgot about it. Time to think. That's the last thing you need. Desi. 20 years you have kept me dangling. Finally. Wow. You came to me and you chose me. Follow that instinct. So she's kept him on her leash just in case. Case? Case. I've been so mistreated for so long. I've forgotten how to behave. Listen to the music. This hum. We tell Boney very little. Without a body, without a murder weapon, their only hope is a confession. The fireplace, the murder weapon, right? You want to play a little true or false? And then he brushes the sugar off my lips so he can taste me. Yeah, true. You thought quinoa was a fish. <laughs> yeah, that's true. No, never have. Pushed, says pushed. Absolutely not. I never touched her. Hold on. She tried to buy a gun. I doubt that, but... Buying the gun was just a precaution, like she was making a trail. Judy's missing handle. Oh my god, there it is. Fire doesn't erase blood, Nick, so finally. Nicholas Dunn, you're under arrest wait, for the wait. murder. No! Nick's idea of culture was a reality TV marathon with one hand down as boxers. Why are they sitting so far away from each other? Thank you. Oh my days. Okay, yeah, she has a plan. What? What? Done. You got one hell of a lawyer. Amy is so interesting to watch, I swear. It's so entertaining, but so horrible. I don't- uh, 
know what her plan is with the camera and her screaming and stuff like that though. Like I see that she's trying to frame Neil Patrick Harris, but wouldn't that just mean that she's alive again? Oh my god. Mr. Collins is home. Hello, Mr. Collins. Wow, that shot, look at the lighting. Oh my god. This is the most uncomfortable I think I've ever been in my entire life. See, she's even trying to get him to do things that will make it worse for him. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my days! How are you gonna clean that up? Oh my god. Oh my god, she escaped her captor. Did she? She escaped her captor and came back. Wow. Treasure hunt. I, uh, I'd hidden some puppets at Ghost. Then how did Desi have that hand? Yes, her story's breaking. To where I was being held prisoner by a man with a history of mental problems. Please continue, Ms. Dunn. Guys, don't believe her. Come on. She slit his throat with a box cutter. How'd she manage to get a hold of a box cutter? Yes. Good question. Can you just be happy your wife is home and safe? Amy, we found her diary. Don't dismiss that question. He has a temper. We had money problems. But I love him. Then why did you try to buy a gun? Yeah. I'm sorry. I feel myself fading. Eagle. Ms. Dunn, you've been very brave. We're finished. Now. Don't. Now, I know there are a lot of questions and concerns, but for right now, we want to sit tight. And just be thankful and grateful. Dude, if she gets away with this, this is insane. Excuse me, folks. I bet he wants to swat that hand away so hardcore. And that's the newspaper picture right there. Affleck butt. I can't believe she still has blood all over her. Wounded, raped, wife battles her way back to her husband and he deserts her. Not a good I'll luck. Dude, she still has him. Yeah. I'd lock it too. I like it. One day home. That's cool. Hello, Anson. Great. Oh, why is she like a robot? Kiss my cheek. Oh my god. A fake kiss too? It's all an act, I swear! You may want to thank her. Just don't piss her off. See you guys. Just don't piss her off. That is <laughs> top tier advice. Couldn't sleep. Come on. Let me talk you back in. I'm no, no, thank you. I need more time. I would never, ever hurt you. Yeah, you wouldn't. You wouldn't. What? She's alive. She's a calculating, murderous psychopath. Yeah, fair. I know exactly what to say. Come on, say that she's a horrible person. Nick. I hate this woman. You know what I mean. She just goes with the trends. I hate her. Icebreaker. I got you this robot cat. Ha ha ha. Everything's fine. She's downstairs. I feel like Ben Affleck has worn this blue shirt the entire movie. Has he not? I won't have to teach your child to hate you. He'll do that all by himself. Oh my god. Loved you, and then all we did was resent each other and try to control each other and cause each other pain. That's marriage. What? No.
Wow, Amy has hooked him in with this child. We communicate. We're honest with each other. Yeah, you are honest with each other now. We're gonna be parents. That was the most unhappy delivery I've ever heard in my entire life. Look how sad he is. What are you thinking? How are you feeling? What have we done to each other? What will we do? That's it. That's the movie. What the chicken? This movie was so good, but really disturbing. Oh, oh, that's how I feel about the movie the entire time. But so good, Rosamund Pike, insane. Ben Affleck, insane. Oh my God. Oh. And that was my reaction to Gone Girl, the 2014 drama thriller David Fincher movie starring Rosamund Pike and Ben Affleck. And what an amazing movie this was. I just want to shake it out of my system, not because it was bad, but because it was so disturbing. This was probably one of the more disturbing movies I think I've ever seen. It just gave me chills running up my spine. It was more terrifying than some horror movies that I've watched. This isn't supposed to be a horror movie, but it kind of is a horror movie in a way. Just the things that Amy does to Nick, the things that Nick does to Amy in to some extent, it's just like crazy. And then the ending of this movie, it's so terrifying that Nick is trapped with Amy, with this insanely smart, but malicious woman who has trapped him again. He is on her leash. No matter what he does, she will always be there basically in his life because that kid thing at the end, the only reason she got pregnant is to keep him around. You know what I mean? And if he leaves, it ruins his life. And she's just manipulative. She controls everything. And wow, I really loved this movie a lot and I loved how this movie was framed and how this movie was set up because for the first hour of this movie you think that Nick is pretty much the bad guy in the situation in a way you know he didn't kill Amy and you know that he yeah 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 he didn't murder her or anything like that but you have a feeling that he is part of the reason why she got kidnapped or why she may have left because when we look at the flashbacks we see him hitting her and she wants a gun and stuff like that and we see all these things and then we hear from her perspective from her journaling and stuff like that about how she's getting scared to be with him and you know she's always having to look over his her shoulder and that she would sleep easier if she gets a gun and so you're like oh my god like nick is kind of the problem here like this marriage isn't working but nick i am getting scared of nick and i as an audience member was getting scared of nick you know what i mean like i was like if she ran away i understand why she ran away but then the twist happens probably about an hour to an hour and 20 minutes into the movie the twist happens and that montage of moments this movie did montages so well but that montage of moments with the synthy beautiful score by the way insanely good score just this pulsate pulsating music boom 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 you know what i mean and then we just see ben affleck going to the shed opening that brown shed seeing everything and then we get her perspective as well we get amy's perspective of everything of watching ben affleck leave we get her monologuing over everything about how she's committed these plans and put them into action and how she's framing nick for murder and stuff like that and wow 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 it just completely recontextualizes everything about the first half of this movie and it's so well done because there is something very suspicious about the way that everything is set up and you have a feeling that she maybe ran away but you're never suspicious about Nick pushing her into the stairs for instance when she says that she's pregnant or when the, she says that she wants a kid you're not suspicious about those things you take those things as reality but now when you look back at the start of the movie when Nick pushes her because she wants a kid that didn't actually happen I don't think that was just part of her journal that was part 
of her story to make everyone believe that she was a victim in this situation and she made us as the audience believe in a way that she was a victim in this situation and I thought the movie handled it so well because there were moments at the start of the movie that allude to her faking this you know the setup in his living room the way that the pictures hadn't fallen down you know the unanswered credit card purchases with all of this stuff you know there are snippets of things here and snippets of things there that allude to her plan but we don't have the puzzle pieces to fit it all together and then when it finally all falls into place it is so satisfying and it makes so much sense of course if she is framing him for murder she's going to leave the crime scene scene a little bit tarnished in a way that would make it seem like he was a little clumsy with his actions or he didn't know 100 percent what he was doing when he murdered her quote unquote murdered her and wow i just I just love how much it recontextualizes the start and now you can watch the start and watch her scenes at the start where she's talking about the past and journaling everything down and you don't trust anything that she says in those moments anymore and you look at it through a completely different perspective. It is so well done because it just frames you up with Nick being the bad guy and you just follow along with Nick being the bad guy and then it just turns out that Amy is this super malicious crazy woman in a way who just keeps Nick on a leash the entire way through the movie all the way up until the final section. This was a David Fincher movie and I thought David Fincher directed this movie very subtly. Uh, I watched Panic Room on live stream for my Patreon a few weeks ago and that I really liked that movie but comparing his direction from Panic Room to his direction in Gone Girl is a crazy crazy difference because Panic Room had these amazing sweeping shots and moving shots and all of these things you know if you've seen panic room you know what i mean if you haven't go check it out it's a really fun movie but you know the camera's like going through glasses and walls and floors and it's just moving around and going really close up slow-mo insert shots and stuff like that like really creative and engaging camera work but in this movie his camera work is so subtle and soft and it's almost like it isn't even there in a way there's not much movement with the camera the camera doesn't really pan around or dolly around it doesn't even really tilt up and down or left and right it's fairly static the entire time but I still thought the movie was shot really really well and I thought that added to the suspense and mystery and just terrifyingness of it all this stillness of the camera work was almost uncanny at times especially if you view David Fincher's past filmography and how much movement is in his camera he definitely gets more subtle and less movement as his filmography goes on but this to me was super still like I watched Zodiac recently you can check out my reaction to that and the camera work there compared to Panic Room is still very still and meticulous and everything but there's still a lot of movement with his camera work in that movie but in this movie it's just a lot of still cameras you know what I mean almost sort of like Amy in a way I don't know the camera felt like Amy to me you know when Amy's like making breakfast and stuff like that and she's standing there she's like honey breakfast and she's just like standing there like a robot that's kind of what the camera felt like very robotic in a way very uncanny almost a little inhumane and that's what Amy felt like it almost felt like the camera work was re representing Amy maybe I'm overthinking this and I probably am overthinking it he probably didn't mean that to happen maybe he did though you never know David Fincher does think a lot about how he places the camera so I wouldn't put it past him to have a uh, reason why his camera work is like that it's just that's how I felt the camera work was like if that makes any sense I also thought the lighting in this movie was absolutely fantastic it was just so subtle and so soft and very natural it was all just natural like light you know like candles or the lights in a house and stuff like that it just made it feel very realistic and grounded I don't know why I be like this felt like something could happen in real life which was really interesting to me and I think that had to a lot to do with just how natural the lighting was I think there's a lot more motifs and a lot more things you could get into in this movie but I just finished it I'm still trying to process and I'm still have the jitters just thinking about it so I think that's going to be the end of my review for now thank you so much for watching and thank you so much to these wonderful 
wonderful, beautiful, amazing people right here for supporting me and supporting my channel. It really does mean a lot. Let me know what you guys think of Gone Girl in the comments down below, as well as I think Rosamund Pike was absolutely phenomenal in this movie. She was so articulate with her words. She was so terrifying once the reveal happened. She was, I don't know, she was just so convincing as Amy. And then I thought Ben Affleck, I think this is one of his best, if not best performances I've ever seen from him. He was phenomenal in this movie as well. Anyways, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time for my next movie reaction.